Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So today I wanted to do a Thanksgiving makeup look, something that was very natural and focused on your natural beauty, but was a little bit glammed up with a special eye look. So I hope that you will enjoy this video and if you'd like to see how I got this look, be sure to stay tuned. So the first product I'm going to be going in with is the Eau Natural Cream Foundation and it is a stick foundation, which is kind of cool and different for your green beauty. And I have the shade Porcelain and it is the perfect shade match for me. And part of why I am going to go ahead and use this foundation is this is very likely the one I will actually use on my face for Thanksgiving. And what I like about it is it is creamy, but it really does wear well on my oily skin throughout the day. So even though the weather is drier, it still does behave very well and it is pretty long wearing. I will be doing a full review of this foundation soon, so be sure to stay tuned for that for more details about the foundation, but the short of the matter is I really like it. I'm going to blend this foundation out using the MOTD Cosmetics Beauty in the Base brush. So that really does help to even out your skin tone. Obviously it's not completely full coverage. I will go in and do some spot concealing, but my skin tone does look a lot more even when I use that foundation. So the next product I'm going to use is another Au Natural product and it is their cream corrector in the shade Linen. And this is a color corrector and it's in this sh uh, like pinkish shade, which you can use to correct dark circles under your eyes. I am still testing this out. I do think though that this color is a lot better for me than a salmon concealer because I am so fair the salmon concealers just end up looking orange. I feel like something in this more pinkish shade definitely helps to brighten my eyes without making you look like my under eyes are a funny color. Jury still out on how I feel about this, but I am using this right now, so I wanted to include it in this tutorial. And I just pick some up on my finger and I dab it right under my eyes where the circles are the darkest, so like right here and right here. You might think my order is a little wacky, but there is a method to my madness and how I like to apply my products. So now I'm going to go in with a cream blush and I'm going to be using the Inner Glow Cream Blush from Ritual de Fee in the shade Rapture. I've been having a love affair with cream blushes. You don't have to use the Ritual de Fee one. I know that that is a more expensive cream blush, but I really like the one from Found Cosmetics. It works really well. Um, I also like the one from Elite in the shade Love. Why I really love cream blushes is I find that they apply really well, they blend really easily, and they just create such a natural flush on your cheeks. So I'm just going to go in and apply this with my finger. I do want to go ahead and pick up a stippling brush from uh, Real Techniques, but I have not been over to Target recently to do that, so for right now I am just using my finger. I feel like the shade Rapture really does give this nice kind of just been outside in the cold kind of flush to the cheeks. And I did apply it a little heavily, but as you will see, it will kind of sink in and melt with my skin and get a little bit lighter once it kind of meshes with my foundation. However, I do find that once it does do that, that's kind of how much it fades. It really doesn't fade any further. And that's why I do recommend cream blushes, especially for long events like Thanksgiving. It normally goes on for hours. and with this cream blush, you won't have to worry about your blush fading throughout the day. My order is going to resume and I'm going to go in with the Alima Pure Cream Concealer in the shade Pearl and I'm going to use this to conceal under my eyes. And why I went in with my blush and then with my cream concealer is because if I get my blush up a little bit too high, like towards my cheekbone, I can use the cream concealer to then correct my mistake. 
And if I do it in the opposite order, I can't really do that. I like to apply the color corrector so it has a chance to kind of mesh with my skin, kind of melt in a little bit, go in with the blush. And then if I make any mistakes with the blush, I can use my concealer to correct that. But you want to make sure that you are applying all your cream products before you apply powder. So the worst thing you could do is apply this, set it, and then try and apply a cream or blush. So make sure whatever you do, even if you do your concealer and then your blush, to so just make sure you don't set your concealer until you get your cream blush on. I'm just gonna dab this on under my eyes and blend it using my finger. Now I'm going to go with, with my favorite setting powder, which is the RMS Unpowder. If you've not tried this, I really, really do recommend this. This really locks in my concealer like no other setting powder that I've used and Green Eco Beauty does. And I like to dust it on using this e.l.f. kind of pointy brush. It's a, I think it's like a $3 brush that you can get at Target, but it is a really good size and really good shape for getting right under your eyes. Because the Au Natural Stick Foundation is not entirely full coverage, you can see some of my acne spots. So I am going to go in with my Hint Beauty Duet Concealer, and I have the shade in light. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but I find that it's just a better shade for concealing acne than the Duet Concealer in Fair. And I just use this kind of little eyeshadow brush that I ended up with to dab on the concealer. now while I kind of let the Hint Beauty Duet Concealer set a bit before I go in and powder, I'm going to start on my eyes. For any good long lasting eye look, I of course always go in with my Lima Pure Eye Primer. Really can't live without it. The Silk Naturals one is very comparable as well. I just, I like this one just a smidge more, so this is the one, especially for a long day, that I would reach for. I want to do kind of a bronzy eye look, but still have it be very natural, very wearable. My goal with it was to really enhance your natural beauty, look really nice, but not look like you're wearing a ton of makeup. That's kind of how I also want to approach the eyes. So I'm going to be going in with the Terry Miyahira eyeshadow in Determination, which is this nice kind of light bronzy color. Um, it's very close to my skin tone. If you have a deeper skin tone, I would go for a deeper bronzy color, but this one just looks really nice on me. It looks like I have eyeshadow on, but not too much. I really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my eyelid. I'm gonna use the MOTD Pigment Packer brush to pick this up and pack it on my lid. Next, I'm going to go in with some of the Terry Miyahira under and over powder. I just use some sort of translucent powder and put it in my crease and I just find that it really helps make the crease shadows blend so much more easily. So if you're having any trouble with blending, my tip is to definitely use a translucent powder in your crease. Everything will just blend a million times easier. And I like to go ahead and just throw that in my crease using the MOTD Miss Shady Lady Brush. Now is where we're going to actually start laying down some color in the crease. You don't have to do this step, but I also find that it really does help your eyeshadows blend more easily. First, I'm going to go in with White Peach from Mother Bear's Handmade and lay this down in the crease and then go in with a darker color to deepen up the crease. Like I said, this just helps start getting some pigment down and then it makes all the subsequent shadows blend more easily. And I'm going to apply this using the MOTD Cosmetics Blending Bestie Brush. I don't know if you can tell, but white peach is just a little bit um, deeper and peachier than my skin tone. So all it did was just kind of start adding a little bit of color. The next shade I'm going to go in with is Terry Mia Hira in Courage. It is a matte warm brown eyeshadow. You can use any matte warm brown eyeshadow that you have. I just have this one on hand and I happen to like it. I'm gonna also blend this in my crease it's using the same brush, using the MOTD Blending Bestie.
If you need to, you can go ahead and reintensify your lid color. I think I'll do that a little bit because I knocked it off on my blending. But overall, like because I layered up the shadows and started with a lighter shadow and worked my way towards a darker shadow, it made blending this look so fast and so easy. So I'm just gonna re-intensify this. This part is completely optional, but I kind of like the look when I deepen up my outer corner of my eye. I think it just gives a little bit of dimension. So I'm gonna go on with a darker brown color. And I have this eyeshadow from Honey Bee Gardens in Coco Loco. And I'm going to be applying it using the Furless ME5 brush just to the outer corner of my eye. some inner corner highlight i am going to be using the bound instant glow highlighting palette this is going to be the highlighter that i will also be using on my face so i thought i would also use it for my inner corner highlight and i'm going to apply this using the motd cosmetics no fudge just smudge brush I'm now also going to take my Honey Bee Gardens eyeliner in the shade Belgian Chocolate and I'm just going to line along my lower lash line. Um, I don't tight line with this. I find that it really closes my eyes and makes my eyes look really small when I tight line, but I really do like just giving my lower lash line a little bit of definition. And I focus most of my lining on the outer corner of my eye. Once again, if you bring the eyeliner very close in towards the inner corner of your eye, that also makes your eye look smaller. For now, we're going to move back to my face and I am going to powder my face using my Lima Pure Satin Matte Foundation. And I have been reaching for some reason for my uh, IT Cosmetics for Ultra brush. This is a really fluffy but really dense powder brush. Um, I bought this back before I switched to Green and Eco Beauty and for some reason I just started reaching for it again because I really do like it. So I'm going to use this brush to apply the powder. I'm going to apply the lightest shade of the Found Instant Glow Highlighting Palette to the tops of my cheekbones. And part of why I decided to use this highlight for this tutorial is it's not overly glowy. It's a very natural looking highlight. It's not too intense and I don't think you really want to look completely beaming during Thanksgiving dinner. So I really do like this for a more natural, more subtle glow. And I'll be applying this with the Root Highlighting Palette. going to quickly do my brows and apply some mascara off camera. I am going to be using the Root 100% Lash Mascara and I will be using the Found Shape and Define Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. One of the reasons I really love using the Root 100% Lash Mascara, it's really volumizing and also really lengthening. And we do do a more simple, more natural eye look, but I don't think there's anything wrong with having thick, fluttery lashes. I think it just looks really nice regardless of the occasion and it just makes this look a little bit more special and a little bit more of a holiday look. So the final thing we need to do is apply some lipstick. I was thinking about what would be the best lipstick to wear and my conclusion that I came up with was some sort of liquid lip. And I like liquid lips because they do last longer throughout the day and especially around Thanksgiving, you're probably going to be munching all day, doing a lot of eating. You don't want to lose your lip color or have it smudging all over the place. And the one I would go with is the Eau Natural Sustain, and I have this in the shade On Point. I would find some sort of liquid lip that is a kind of nudish color for your skin tone. You are more adventurous than I am. I want to go for something bolder. You could do a darker vampire lip. You could do something like Love and Hell Uptown. I love that shade, but I think for me personally, I would go with something more neutral. So I'm going to be applying this, and this will finish our look.
So there you have it. This completes this Thanksgiving makeup tutorial and I hope you found this video useful and maybe a little bit entertaining. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what your thoughts are, what you're planning to do for Thanksgiving. Are you planning to do a more natural look like this or something more glamorous? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm really curious to hear which way you're leaning in terms of doing makeup for Thanksgiving. And also be sure to check out my Instagram. I'll have my handle down below. I'm at Naturally Beautiful Girl. A lot of times I post my makeup look for the day. I also sometimes will um, unbox and do like little mini hauls on my Instagram stories. So be sure to check me out there for more content. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.